Hi, in this video abstract we would like to introduce our publication Does the CMB prefer a leptonic universe? My name is Mike Stuke and my name is Dominic Schwarz and we are both from Bielefeld University. We know uh, two forms of matter, baryons and leptons from laboratory physics. Baryons are for instance atomic nuclei consisting of protons and neutrons, leptons are electrons or neutrinos for instance. In the universe, we know that there is an asymmetry between matter and antimatter. There is much more matter in the universe than antimatter. There is a remarkable agreement for the size of the baryon asymmetry, measured by the abundance of light elements, primordial light elements like helium and deuterium, and the observation of the cosmic microwave background. Both of them predict that the order of the asymmetry is 10 to minus 10. In contrast to that, the lepton asymmetry remains totally unknown. There can be a large lepton asymmetry in the universe because you can hide a large amount of asymmetry in neutrinos. They would be at low energy and wouldn't escape all our attempts to detect them in today's universe. But they could be observable in the very early universe by their consequences on the Big Bang nucleosynthesis and photon decoupling. They would lead to an increase of the expansion rate of the universe and they would influence the weak equilibrium uh, at Big Bang, before the Big Bang nucleosynthesis. Helium can be viewed as a leptometer and the abundance of deuterium could be viewed as a bariometer. This publication is triggered by new data from small-scale CMB, from the Atacama Cosmology Telescope, from the South Pole Telescope and from the final data analysis of the WMAP team. This allows us to compare a global analysis of the primordial helium abundance with a more local one from observations of extragalactic H2 regions. So this would allow us to put some limits on the lepton asymmetry. We find that the standard Big Bang nucleosynthesis with vanishing lepton asymmetry is still okay. However, the new CMB data and the observed deuterium abundances seem to favor a sizable surplus of antineutrinos in the universe. For further details, read our article Does the CMB prefer a leptonic universe in the new journal of physics?